Hello everyone, hope you're okay. Um, today we're going to try something new. Talk about basically the interaction between my two dogs, Millie Rupert and Parker, our baby. Um, obviously everyone believes that, first of all, you have to train your dogs to be around babies. Personally, from how we've experienced it so far, this isn't the case. Um, it's been so natural with Millie. Um, she's had puppies before, so the maternal instincts have sort of always been there, but with Rupert, he's a bit more male, masculine, and a bit bit more over-playful. Um, you can't train dogs to be good around babies, but obviously certain factors do help in certain situations, such as female dogs tend to be a lot more maternal than male dogs. Um, this isn't always the case. Boy dogs can be just as maternal, but with Millie, because she's already had puppies before a couple of years ago, for some reason, the maternal instincts have just always remained. Um, Rupert, on the other hand, also has never been done. Millie, after she had her puppies, she was done, so obviously that, that, that can factor into it as well. Um, whereas Rupert has never been done, so he's a, lot, he's a lot more energetic, a lot more playful. Um, one thing that I would say is, our dogs have always been around children from a young age, um, a lot of children, a lot of babies, so even as a boy dog he's always been so good around other babies. Um, it's the same with animals, same with other dogs, same with other animals. Some of our friends have got um, huskies and cats. If I had put a cat in here right now I don't think it would work, but because they've always been around babies it tends to be, that's how it is. If they're brought up in that situation it helps a lot. Um, obviously every dog is like a human being, everyone is completely different so it, it might not always be the same but personally from my experience it's happened naturally, um, you can't force upon it, you can't rush anything, it's so slow, it's, it's eight, nine weeks old now um, and I'm still not staying in the same bed or the same bedroom as them so you've got to keep it safe, you've got to monitor him, you can't leave him unattended, that's the main, main big thing that you can't do, never ever leave a child, or a baby or a child unattended with, with dogs because no matter how trained or well behaved your dogs are, they, anything can happen, accidents can happen and we're fully responsible for our dogs actions, we have to take responsibility for our dogs actions because we are their parent, to me the dogs and the baby are no different, it probably shouldn't be the case but that's how it is and that's how it'll always be. These are my children, so you don't have a baby and then get rid of your dogs. You work around it and you're a family to work around it, aren't you? So um, it's not easy, but you get there in the end. Um, one main thing that a lot of people can, seem to be talking to us about is how the dogs kiss the baby. Um, a lot of people don't like this, I'm, I'm not a doctor, I'm not anything like that, but I've always been brought up with dogs since such an early, since, since such an early age, um, and it's not done me no harm. <laughs> people smoke, people drink, people eat chocolate, people ruin the body every day. This, the dogs giving one little kiss to my baby is not going to harm him in any way. Um, obviously, dogs do lick themselves, which is disgusting in certain areas. Dogs get infections from time to time, dogs go on walks in the dirty, obviously some of you just see a 20 second video sometimes, you don't see my whole life and there's not much time that the dogs and the baby do spend together, I'd say a couple of hours a day at most, maximum, and it's never unattended, I'm constant, I'm still anxious and worried about it now, but obviously it's getting a lot better and we're getting there. I've also got a four year old boy who plays, interacts, rolls on the floor, plays with the dogs 24-7, so people say that Huskies are violent dogs and they're not very good around children, I don't believe this at all. Huskies are such playful, playful, loving creatures, needy creatures, but just like anything, they're so different. Each breed can be totally different. Oh, he's gone to sleep. Go on, mate, wake up. Go on. Go on. But it's only recently that we started feeding with the baby around me because as you can see, sometimes when we're winding him like this, they think that we're hurting him so they don't really like it. But it's, it's look, at, as you can see now, they've calmed down a lot around the baby. They're so much better. Um, still, like I say, never leave them unattended, no matter how trained they are, but we're getting there and it's working well so far. Um, 
So, ja. Komm mal, ich gebe es so mit. Stop it. Thanks for listening everyone, soon we'll be doing some more vlogs, we'll see how this goes, but um, some of the suggestions we've got are how we clean our dogs, how we feed our dogs, how we maintain huskies, um, any specific specific questions you've got about the dogs with the baby, anything you might have, um, pop into the comment section and we'll comment straight back. Thank you for listening, bye.